My mother once told me that the views of the blue waters is the path of freedom. And when she met my father Bishop, she knew he would father her children. She said, a bishop is an African male bird that defends the flooded lands. She also said, every bayou represents the plantation grounds our people escape. And every brook we see leads to freedom. The only thing that's truly free in this world is the blue waters that travel the ocean. I should know. I'm a black man living in America. A country that black folks love, but a country that hates us all. Cops killing us every day. But hell, we killing each other every day too. I guess that's why she named me Blue. But this doesn't feel like freedom. What are we going to do without Dad? I don't know. I can't imagine life without him. We're going to do what we want. And let's keep going. Brick, you should have a whole lot of hair. You sure you don't want to cut it? No, I want to be like my brother. I wonder where he's at. Mm. Grayson, if I got me into So what you trying to go? Yeah. What you want? Uh, you know. What's up? Why didn't you text me back last night? Boy, bye. You think you show me some money? Show you some money for what? Because I don't think you broke. Ain't you got a girlfriend? Now, why is you worried about that? No. We ain't the same. You were lame. I'm a mob star. I'm a top dog on a stack. Wow, you all set. Looks nice. Thank you. You're welcome. Man, you know that's not what your dad would want for you, right? <laughs> he left that gang shit alone a long time ago. Well, my dad's dead, okay? Well, he once left with him. I'm a warder and the warder gang lives. You know you still have time to become a man, right? And get yourself together. You gonna end up dead or in jail. Cops out here killing us just cause we black. And y'all fools out here killing each other. <laughs> You're all set. You too, baby. Mom. I say go. How many times do I have to tell you about getting all wrapped up in this gang shit? Do you want to die? Do you want to end up like your father? Don't talk about my dad. Your dad started the water game. And leaving it killed him. Killed him? Yeah. What? Yeah. Uh-huh, that's right. The very game that your father created killed him for Lee. Now you got one more chance, son. One more chance of what, Ma? If you want to be a man, then get out now. But you will not put my babies at risk out there being stupid. You walk out that door, Blue, don't you come back. And that's on my dead husband. Now, I know things have been hard since your father left. But everybody in this family got a job. And you, son, you ain't been doing your job. Blue, stop, please. 
Don't leave us. We need you. We must die too, Come on, y'all, let's go. Bro, I'm gonna see you later. And please be good. I do not want mama to have a heart attack. <laughs> I got you, baby sis. I'm a scholar now. Don't let these looks fool you. All right, scholar. <laughs> I love you. I love you too, big you know. what's up? Oh, what's up, man? How are you? Cool, man. man. I hope this parking don't be tripping. Bag of ass cracking. Don't worry about that, man. Come on, I got you, bro. Thank you. What's up? Doing all right? I missed you. Where were you yesterday? I tried calling you a few times. I'm sorry. I got in trouble with my mom, so I just need to be alone and think. I'm making some bad decisions, so... I don't know. I just need to do the right thing for my baby sister and bro, you know? Well, I'm glad you're coming to your senses. I mean, I know you're only acting out because you miss your dad. Yeah, stupid shit. But I'm focused, though. Come on, let's get to class. Okay, but what's wrong? You're distracted or confused. I honestly can't tell which one. I just hate to see Big Shooter selling that lace shit to everybody. That shit got niggas ODing in the street. His lace with fit and all. You need to stay away from them. You're gonna end up in jail or dead. Oh, I know that for sure. But, um, I had got your text earlier this morning. What you really need to tell me? You know what? Never mind. We cannot be late. You know how Miss Parker trips. Okay. Come on. <laughs> Good morning, class. Good morning. good morning. Awesome. So glad to see you guys' face. I hope you had a good weekend. All right. So today, we're going to pick up on where we left off on Friday. All right. So each of you should have written a poem, and today we're going to present it in front of class. Now, the poem must capture where you are now as seniors as you're preparing to enter into the real world. So now, who would like to read the poem on the board by the late, great Maya Angelou? Okay, come on, come on. Ah. The caged bird sings with fearful trill of things unknown but long for still. And his tune is heard on the distant hill for the caged bird sings of freedom. All right, now, I want each of you to take this in and reflect on what it means to you. Once we've done that, we're gonna present your poems. And here comes the fun part of where we get to break the rules of the textbook. You may begin. Now, who's ready to go first to read their poem aloud? So, no one's going to raise their hand? All right, Blue, you're up. I'll go. Okay. A place where equality is only a word. A world that kills and disrupts anything that's different. Where do you fit in when you're not white enough or straight enough? I guess the only ones that can really answer that are those that are like me, different. I suppose I could ask a black man that fears his life at the very chance that he's going to be killed by those who are meant to protect him. He knows the strange place that I know. I could even ask a black woman who fears her life in her own home being killed by a cop. She too would know this caged place. We're all suffering from the same disease, being less than human in a country that hates us for simply being us. This is the freedom that's being fought for. This is America. Blue waters of the ocean flow freely but still trapped by the limits that are unknown. 
Most would say that the blue waters that flow through the streams are with freedom, but I see it's capture. There's no freedom. There's only bondage. Our ancestors chose blue waters in exchange for a different type of bondage. A faster death, for death is not bondage. Lou, that poem you wrote was deep. Did you really mean what you said about feeling like you're in bondage? I mean, are we all? I mean, trapping is a bondage. Going to jail is definitely a bondage. Talking to somebody's job is a bondage. Society has us in a bondage, babe. I mean, we aren't free. Just look around us. Come on. Come on, let's get a class. Okay, but what's wrong? You're distracted or confused. I honestly can't tell which one. I just hate to see Big Shooter selling that lace shit to everybody. That shit got niggas ODing in the street. This lace with fitting on. Nigga, don't you ever talk to my Ooh, sister. That's the last talk I've ever had. And watch, I want you to do what? Or do it again and find out. Like, don't this why that girl don't get in the first place. I feel so lost without him. Gang violence took him from us. Same way you chased my son. Hey, sis. Come on in, come on in. Now, you know we need you to keep baby. Have a seat. Are you thirsty? Would you like something to drink? Yes. Okay. Yes, please eat something. Looking all sad, like we about to go to a funeral. It's graduation day. Son. So, mom. I'm proud. And I know your father's watching over us and protecting us. Yeah. I know you're watching over James in heaven. Too cute. <laughs> Mama, we made it. I know that you're proud. Dad always told me stay true to the route. It's for the veal, gold in the teal. Kids walk around with the gold in their grill. Told you my focus, I never lost hope, and I'm giving them something they feel. I keep a chill, ain't no counterfeit. How does it feel if you doubt it? It's still who we started with. Put down the seed, I was harvesting. We make the art, then we market it, all of it. I kept the faith, keeping the faith. I know you doubt, I know it. You doubt it. Yeah, out of my way. Give me some space, just family around family me. Around me. Hey. Putting in work, won't say a word until they announce it. Hey, determined to get it, I'm focused and driven. What you know about I'm just working on my trophy speech. My trophy speech. I'm just working on my trophy speech. My trophy speech. This for the fam, this for the home team. I'm just working on my trophy speech.